Hello, this is Stephen Fillo with the Meat Art Tech Department. Today we're going to talk about repowering a Toro 22200 30 inch commercial walk behind. These are also made underneath the X Mark name. And you'll find similar products out there underneath, like Cub Cadet and a few MTD products, very similar. We're going to go ahead and remove an FJ 180V Kawasaki brand engine, and we're going to install on it a Kohler CV200 3002 spec engine. To start this, I have already done this project once. I found that the easiest way to do this is to suspend it off the back of your work table. There's only four fasteners we'll be taking out. There's three motor bolts and one pulley bolt. This engine has been out and off of here. Uh, I did notice when I had it off that it did have some helicoils and that some of the fasteners had worked themselves loose and somebody else has worked on this before I got here. But today there'll be a 9 16 and a half inch to take this old one off. When we go back on, we'll be using new fasteners. These are 3 16 one inch self tapping bolts. We'll be putting new fasteners in the, the new engine. We're going to move around back and go ahead and start removing the fasteners. So the transmission on this has a couple of springs here that provide tension on that belt. The easiest thing I found is to give this bracket here just a little bit of a bend so that way it misses a little stop. Come in here, squeeze your belt, go ahead and slide you a piece of 2x4 up there and now that relieves the tension off of your belt and prevents that pulley from coming back. You can now slide your belt off to the side. The next belt up here is your blade belt. We're just going to go ahead and slide that one off. It slips right on off. We can also slide that one off to the side. So now our pulleys and our belts have been disconnected. The next step, this one's got a couple of different fasteners, a 9 16 and 2 half inches. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the 9 16 a couple of long extensions will allow you to get in there and remove these fasteners pretty easily. So there's one last fastener, it's the one up there. I find using an air ratchet, you can come in from up here and get down to it pretty easily. So now that you got your engine fasteners loose, the next step is to go ahead and remove your engine. You'll see on the bottom of your engine that you've got a double stack pulley using a 5.8 socket. And then, as luck would have it, our pulley just slides right off of there. Next thing I'll do is I'll get the Kohler engine out. So we'll just open this up inside the box. We'll find the owner's manual. We're going to be certainly give that to the new owner. We got a nice piece of protective plastic here. We'll go ahead and put this one up onto the workbench. So I did measure my crankshaft lengths. My crankshaft lengths are identical. So to install the new pulley, First thing I'll do is I'll put a little bit of molly coat on here. Never seize. Smear it around a little bit. The next guy who goes to take that pulley off will appreciate me doing this. The pulley goes back on. The wave washer. And the nut. And then we will torque that down to the correct torque spec. So the next step on this, after we've got our pulley on and torqued down, is we're going to be using self-tapping 3 8 16 one inch long fasteners and what I found is it's easier to tap these run these in before you put the engine on that way you're not fighting trying to make threads underneath there so our next step here will be to pick this up set it back on there to note some of the fasteners that came out were 5 16 in size and some of them that came out were 3 3 eighths. So 5 16 and 3 eighths is what came out. Now that the engine's on, set back on the frame, I'm going to go ahead and move it back off the edge of my table so I have access from underneath. Now I can install my three fasteners back in from the bottom without fighting the engine very much. So now we need to put our drive belts back on. We simply slide our blade engagement belt up onto the top fully, verify it's in the grooves. We get our 
drive belt pulley down here. Verify it's in the grooves. Give it a squeeze so it releases tension. Our transmission slides back because of the springs. Put my little stop back where, where it belongs, like so. Now we put this back down, install oil and gasoline. So now that we got this back on the table, next step is to go ahead and put some gasoline in it and fill the crankcase with oil. I found that this engine took right at about 20 ounces of oil to get it to the full mark on the dipstick. Next step in this is get the mower down onto the ground. Let's take it out back, see how it cuts. So now you've seen how this mower cuts. Uh, seems to have plenty of power, gets through the tough stuff pretty easily. Hopefully some of the, the experiences I've done here and tips and tricks will save you some time in the shop. All in all, it should only take about a half an hour or so to swap one of these engines out and get it back up and running. Thank you for your time. This is Stephen Filler with Meet Art Tech Department.